Hi, I'm Sung, and I'm one of the other members at the Joint Space Community Lab in New York City. Um, and this is one of the greatest pictures I've ever taken in my life. It's a, it's a very, very rough prototype of something called the HAMS, High Altitude Microbiome Sampling Station. You see, we are actually planning to launch a balloon probe, a water balloon probe, all the way out into the stratosphere to collect air samples, bring it down to the Earth, and then do multi, um, do metagenomic sequencing on it, analyze it, and then publish it. Um, but you see, the funny thing is, two years ago, I did not know what pipetting meant. I mean, right now, I'm participating in two different iGEM teams in New York City this year. I participated in another iGEM team last year, um, I'm, I'll be biobreaking tons of awesome genes that you see popping up in iGEM this year. But two years ago, I literally did not know what pipetting meant. The very testament to what community biotech labs can do if the academic community, if the people who actually know what they're doing can support people like me. But you see, throughout the years, I've come across one single problem that needs to be solved if you're ever to bring synthetic biology into like standard high school curriculums. You see, the issue is, the problem is the papers. We can't teach synthetic biology to high school students if we have to become criminals every single time we print a reference paper for high school, underage high school students who are just trying to learn. We can't teach synthetic biology to students if there are paywalls all over the place and we have to ask friend of a friend of a friend in some remote university somewhere to print their papers out and then you know turn it into a PDF or download it into a PDF and put it on an anonymous server so we can just download it. Um, yeah, so as long, if, if we find, if the publishing industry, if the academic community can find a solution to that problem, I think from five years from now on, we'll be teaching synthetic biology to local New York City high school students, whether they'll be making a really incredible biosensor system that amazingly work for one reason or another. All right, thank you.